All right, let's go ahead and take a look at Boatman Dance, measure by measure, just the way I learned it from Mike Ober. So we'll go ahead and take a look at measure number one right now. So in measure number one, we're simply doing a couple boom chicas. We're sliding into that fifth fret. And just doing a couple boom chicas. Um, you'll notice I've got, I've indicated specifically that on the boom chick part of the strum, um, that we're taking in the open second string as well. That's kind of just a preference of mine to get a particular feel. I'm trying to emulate um, about what Mike was doing when he was playing the tune. Uh, of course, if you want, if that's really awkward for you right now, you can add that in later. You could just play the individual notes. Just that fifth fret note and leave the second string out of it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at measure number two. Here we're still we're still on the fifth fret here with our first finger. Then we're going to add the seventh in. So here I'm doing this in knockdown style, knockdown C chord. And remember the C chord is going to be a strum there, at least those three strings. And then after that, so that's just a boom chicka there, the C chord and the phantom stroke. Boom chicka. So the whole measure again. You look at measure number three. Now we're going to the open G chord. And again, in order to emulate the way that Mike was playing this, we're going to start that first boom chicka, first half of the measure, with a bit of a brush. Boom chicka, second half. So we have boom chicka, boom chicka. One more time. that takes us to measure number four here we have our first drop thumb of the piece and we actually don't do too much drop thumbing in this piece we want to keep it um, keep that rhythm and that drive kind of moving along so in order to do that we can keep a minimum amount of drop thumb in there uh, this is over a over a D chord um, if you want if you watch the left hand while I play this I put a D7 down when it's time to play that second fret on the third string. Uh, this is just a habit of mine, and if you noticed in the mess around video, if you were watching that and paying attention to that, you noticed that's what Mike was doing too. Uh, just a habit and not a bad habit to get into. Kind of be um, fingering the harmony chord behind what's being played. Not necessary though, if you just want to play that second string, that's fine. Or second fret note, rather. All right, just thought I'd clarify that. Let's go ahead and move on to the B part. So obviously, you repeat that A part, and once you've played the A part twice, time to go to the B part. So let's look at uh, the first measure of the B part, which is measure five. If you pay attention to the chords listed above the tab, you'll notice that we're going from a C to a G. Da, 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 for the next few measures. Da, 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 da. Um, so you can kind of keep that in mind as you as you uh, fret these this arrangement here. So again, if you look at measure number five, you could play it. If you want, you could use left hand fingering as if you're fingering a C chord. So you could use your third and first fingers here. Uh, move on to measure number six. Essentially the same thing. The only difference is that last part of that second boom chicka strum we're just brushing a couple open strings instead of hitting that. Uh, second string specifically for a melody purposes like we did in the previous measure if that makes any sense anyway here's the fifth measure again here's the 
sixth measure again. And that takes us to the seventh measure, a repeat of the fifth. And the eighth measure is going to wrap it all up for us. Couple pull offs. Boom. Shake So, of course, we repeat the B part as well. So now we've played the A part twice, we've played the B part twice. And now we'll play the C part because this is a three part tune. Let's take a look at the C part starting with measure nine. It's a basic boom chicka, followed by a couple hammer ons. Takes us to measure 10. We're on the open G here. I'm trying to emulate the way that Mike's playing this, uh, especially when he's playing it up to tempo. So here we have boom, boom, chicka, chicka. So it's not as complicated as it looks there in this measure. If that looks a little confusing with all these arrows and X's, we just have a boom note, open first string, followed by a brush, which is a boom as well, chicka, where we have a phantom stroke, so we're just going to miss that uh, first string there. And then another chicka. So I'll just play it for you slowly again. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka. That rhythmic approach to a measure is going to be important because we're going to keep doing that in a few future measures. So stay tuned. Uh, let's take a look at measure number 11. slide up to the fourth fret on the third string and a familiar pull off on the second fret on the same string takes us to the 12th fret where we grab a C chord again except as Mike showed us in the mess around video he's doing a C chord but he's actually not playing not fretting the first string there the first string open, here's a regular C chord. If we open up that first string, uh, it gets this nice open sound, and that's called that's technically a C suspended second chord. Um, but you can just think of it as a C chord, and we lift a finger up. All right, uh, we're going to be doing that in this measure. So we have. Remember the right hand rhythm here is the same as we were doing two measures ago in the tenth measure. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka. That takes us on to measure thirteen here. We've got the open G again. This is really just a repeat of the first measure of the C part, measure nine. Measure 14 is also a repeat of a previous measure, measure 10. There's that rhythm figure again with the right hand. Boom, boom, chicka, chicka. Brings us to the last two measures of the tab. This should be pretty familiar for you. We've got a C chord again for the first half of the measure, so this part is familiar. Next half of the measure is drop thumb. We play that whole measure for you slowly. One more time. And the final measure is a repeat. It's the same ending that we used at the end of uh, the B part, I believe.
that does it for the measure by measure breakdown of Boatman Dance. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you now, nice and slowly, just the way it's written in the tab. <laughs> 